Not terrible. It's terrible. That's a tricky track. There's a lot of corners. You like more straight lines. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm a drag racer at heart. Hey, good morning. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, I got Ben. I mean, Dad here with me. So this is uh, race number three. Is it Chessis or Chessie? Chessis. Yeah. You know what? You're looking pretty tan. Are you sure you're Ben's? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I do have a tan. All right. Can't believe me for that. <laughs> race number three. We've got a couple practices. Uh, Dad, how are you feeling? Terrible. <laughs> I was terrible. That was terrible. Okay, well, I guess there's no more to be said. I'm gonna qualify mid-pack, like I always do. <laughs> And so we have some stuff for our stall racing fans. We have stall racing vlog stickers. These things are awesome. They're the perfect size to put anywhere. Uh, you can put them on your cart like we have or on your phone, your laptop case. Uh, I have one on mine. Uh, you can put them really anywhere. And so if you would like one, feel free to email us. The email is it at the bottom of our video. Um, or uh, message us on Facebook, the stall racing Facebook page reach out, let us know if you want one, and if you get one, send us a picture and we'll try and put it in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy them. You can hear in the distance the gentle roar of the soft two cycle drivers because they don't like the rolling thunder that us four cycle drivers are. That's a joke. Although, while we're on the topic of what carts sound like, I'd like to go on record and say kid carts are the coolest sounding things. If you are next to a kid cart, it sounds like, like a little indie car, just like it has that like it's just it's great i love the thunder sound the way it, the growl uh you know the bees kind of get annoying but uh kid carts are where it's at for a thousand subscribers when we get there casey and dad have talked about yes a ghost pepper um i did two habaneros seems like i got the better end of the deal so hopefully we can get a couple ghost peppers for them that's the goal dad how would you describe your pace today I don't know how you describe pace. I don't have it, if it means any kind of speed. But I got the master monkey wrencher here. He's gonna make me fast. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible. It's terrible. That's a tricky track. There's a lot of corners. You like more straight lines. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm a drag racer at heart. We've gotten a few people that have asked about some apparel, you know, some shirts or something, if, if we can make that happen. Absolutely. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, you know, want that to happen. Really, it could probably be more in shirts if you want whatever, a shot glass, whatever. Just let me know, but uh, I think we can get some of that stuff going, so just shoot me a message and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm dealing with a new definition of disappointing. Uh, my wife and daughter told me that uh, I qualified 30 out of 35. Uh, come to find out, actually, I qualified 35th out of 41, so that's the definition of disappointing, the definition of bad to worse, whatever you want to say. So I uh, 
opted not to wear the traditional garb today. I wore my candy stripes in honor of the cart I drove last year. I won't be wearing this shirt again. Uh, I'm driving too much like I did last year and uh, results are too much like last year. So we'll have fond memories of the old uh, candy stripe rocket ship, but we uh, will leave those where they belong in the past. Okay, qualifying's over. And, uh, well, I'll just start this out by saying I've never been a good qualifier. It's always been a weak point of mine. I'm a better racer than qualifier. But recently, I've been exceptionally bad. And today was no different because in my first race, I'm going to be starting 18th. And I was just driving poorly. And then uh, there's no other excuse. I was just driving it poorly. And then for my sportsman race, which is my second one, which is what I hope to be in the championship hunt for, I'm starting 17th. I spun it, going in, just misjudged a situation and uh, threw away my lap. So starting, starting 17th in that one, I gotta qualify better. I can solve so many problems if I just qualify better. Race is over, short and sweet. Early in the race, I seem to remember somebody, there was a, a big pack bumping back and forth, and I think I think somebody got into my tire, um, whatever it was, I, I don't know, it uh, tire, left rear tire went flat. I had nothing for nobody, and it was just kept getting worse. I, I missed out on a 28th place finish. You found your issue. What was it? It's a little valve stem thing here. It's not really a valve stem, but uh, it's a bead. It's a bead lock. It should just spin right out. A bead lock. And you can see, I there was a, a big bunch of us in turn one exiting the scoreboard hairpin and. You can see that bent. they got in, so. It was leaking air, you had a flat tire. Okay, Case, do you have any hopes? I hope I learn how to drive in this race, Maddie. That's my hope. I mean, seriously, the cart's great. I was fast yesterday, and I go out and qualify, and it's like, oh wait, how do I drive? How do I, <laughs> right foot for gas? I mean, come on, it's just so annoying it's every time. <laughs> Why can I not qualify? It must be like test stress, qualifying what stress. Is it? You know how people like is that I get tasted. Talk? You know I don't yeah, know test anxiety. Yeah, you know yeah. people do that all the time. I was like never like about working tests. up to it, they're good. Yeah, I know that. So one race is in the books. I started in 18th, and uh, the first corner is really crazy on this layout because it it's a long straightaway into a hairpin. And uh, a lot of times things got crazy and it got it got a little nuts in front of me. Uh, worked out well though. Um, I had a clear path, so made up a few positions there. The race was a lot of fun. Uh, was racing with a, a good group.
going into uh, one section, my, my, our buddy Rob uh, got airborne on top of someone right in front of me. Uh, he's all right, so that's good. Did a, did a lot of uh, switch around in that group. It was three wide, at least once, I think twice. And uh, just, you know, back and forth, it was all clean. on the last lap lost a couple spots and uh got uh there's a hard braking zone that i misjudged and got into got into cart but luckily it wasn't no harm done really um but still i had to apologize for that i feel bad anytime i get into someone all in all it was uh it was a fun race i started 18th i think i finished 12th or 13th and uh, race monitor's not working, so I don't know for sure, but um, it was fun. I qualified 19th, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You know, it was a fun little race. So starting from that spot in 19th, I was just like, all right, it's probably gonna be a lot of carnage, a lot of chaos, as you'll see. move forward from there. And it sucks because I felt like I had so much more in the cart, just setup wise. Like I was so unbelievably gripped up. I mean, just all sorts of grip. I could have, I don't know, given some to charity like Oprah. You get grip, you get grip. But anyway, I had so much just grip everywhere that I think it, it hurt some of my exit speeds and stuff like that. But it was overall still a solid run. I don't know where I finished. I think I was top 10. 
some 19th, uh, let's just say 10th or so. I did get the black flag like pointed at me. I don't know if the video will show that. And I, it's funny because I'm pretty certain that the incident that they're talking about, I got screwed on. I just make a pass to the inside of my brother and a guy goes to the inside of me and we're going three wide into a hairpin. Like not ideal, right? But of that incident, I was the second, I, of our group, I was in second of that group. And I came out like fourth or fifth of that group. So if I'm getting the black flag for that, I think that that was punishment enough. Ben, Ben. Ben's gonna wanna pass Casey and he has to be so smart about it. Oh, that guy's getting ballsy, holy cow. Ben, they're gonna freight train you if you let them. Oh, yep, told ya. Well, kid, that's what you get for trying to pass your brother. That was so stupid of him. But it was a fun, fun race. Casey has uh, finished behind his younger, more talented, better looking, more intelligent, funnier brother. Yeah, <laughs> what? Moodier. Moodier. That's fair too. Anyway, back to my point at hand. Casey has not beat me yet, and I'm curious what you guys think. Will he actually do it this year, or will Ben sweep him 14 to zero? Get the broom out! <laughs> Just because I say this, I will not beat him the rest of the year. So this is a joke for all those people um, riding in the Karma bus right now. A little Inception action. A little camera on camera. Inception, camera on camera. Ready? The fate of my butt is in the hands of Gorilla Tape. I busted out my seat. So, Pray to the Gorilla Gods, okay. Noted. It might be different. I'm in line to get weighed and I've actually already taken my suit off because I've got to get out of here to go watch my little boy. That race, it was so much fun. I started 17th. Going into the second corner, I really sent it. I really decided to go for it. Made up a lot of spots. And this cart was handling great, and uh, Shar 17th made it up as far as 5th. Got into a little bit of a tangle. I'm not sure, it might have been my fault. Uh, the video won't really show it because it was behind. Uh, I think I just maybe misjudged. Got in to another cart and went back to the back. Made a few more spots after that.
for the fun race. Yeah, we at the track. I'm not gonna hold back. Because this is Newcastle, Casey's been a real nice guy. That is a wrap. Just kind of final thoughts for the weekend. Um, still figuring out dad's issues. Uh, I don't believe that it was just that tire that did him in. Um, so we need to really investigate. We might tear his whole thing apart and just diagnose whatever we can and get him back out here because he needs to be quicker than that. And that's not on him. That's that was something that was out of his control. Um, and then myself and Casey, I mean, hey, we got to qualify better. Like I, I can't spin myself or get off track rather than qualifying and, you know, put what could have been a top five qual position and start 19th. Um, but we were able to move up some. I'll take a top 10, not ideal, but carts in one piece, and that's great. Um, Casey had a heck of a sportsman race, you know? I mean, I I don't know if the video do, will do it justice, but just watching it live, I mean, he, he just, he went from 17th to 5th in just a handful of laps, and just a tough, tough decision that, uh, or tough decision, tough incident that happened with the guy. I don't really know if anybody's at fault, just kind of a racing thing. Um, but even then he fought back and just had a heck of a run and I'm, I'm proud of him. But we've got one week until we're gonna be back here. Technically six days because practice on Saturday we should be here for it. So six days until we're gonna be back on track. In that six days we're gonna be busy. We've got a lot of stuff going on. So until then guys, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon.